Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated the 14th of March 2023. Indian equity markets closed on a negative note today. Nifty opened flat around 17,160 and then it started falling. Overall the markets looked negative today. At the time of close Nifty closed around 17,043 which is not a good sign. Similarly Sensex shed 337 points to give a closing of 57,900. Talking about sectors, most of the sectors ended in red with Nifty PSU Bank emerging as top loser with loss of 1.9%. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Titan, BPCL and Lesson and Tubro. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 1.24%. 1.18% and 0.88% respectively. On the other hand, we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Adani Enterprises, Adani Ports and Mahindra and Mahindra. They fell within the range of 2.83% to 7.70% respectively. For the corporate segment we have. Gale India Limited has declared an interim dividend for financial year 23 of 40% on the paid-up equity share capital, which is 4 rupee per equity share. The total dividend amount will be 2,630 crore rupees with a record date of March 21. Dan Laxmi Fabrics said it will be shutting its processing unit at Dombivali for 6 to 8 months as the 30-year-old factory need to go for a major renovation. The renovation work will start on April 1. However, the weaving unit of the company located at Kolhapur will remain in operations, it said. A committee of Rama Vision at its meeting held today, allotted 4,000,000 convertible warrants at a issue price of 57.10 rupees on preferential basis to the persons, belonging to promoters category, after receipt of subscription amount, equivalent to 25% of the issue price. The board of directors of Sun TV at their meeting held on March 13. 2023 have declared an interim dividend of 2.50 rupees per equity share for the financial year 2020 2 to 2023. Life Insurance Corporation's outstanding debt exposure to Adani Group companies declined from 6,340, 7 crore rupees at the end of 2022 to 6,183 crore rupees on the 5th of March. 2023, Finance Minister Namola Sitharaman told Parliament on Monday. Nalco's board of directors in its meeting held on March 13 approved the payment of the second interim dividend of 2.50 rupee per share on the paid-up equity share capital of 918.32 crore rupees for the financial year 20, 22-23. The company has fixed March 21 as the record date. The Reserve Bank of India's decision to give a two-year extension to Indusind Bank's chief executive officer Sumant Kathpalia instead of three years, has surprised analysts and investors. Payton sustained its growth in payments and loan distribution business in the first two months of the fourth quarter of financial year 23. The fintech giant recorded a total merchant gross merchandise value of 2.34 lakh crore rupees from January to February of 2023, rising by 41% year-on-year. Also, the company posted loan disbursements of 8,086 crore rupees on its platform in the two months, increasing by a whopping 286% year-on-year. For stocks to watch, we have. Barat Heavy Electricals looks good on current market price of 74.80. It can be bought at 75 rupees keeping target of 85 rupees with stop loss of 68. Sun Pharma looks good on current market price of 957.20. It can be bought at 950 rupees keeping target of 1075 rupees with stop loss of 850. Zen Technologies Limited in daily time frame is trading around 280.25 points with a change of 7.05% and is trading with a net volume of around 1.5 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 274.4 which is a good indication for the investors. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 66.08. An RSI of above 50 may indicate that the stock is in overbought region. 
Sterling tools in daily time frame is trading at 370.8 points with a change of 8.31%, and is trading with a net volume of around 359,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 354.4. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 59.29. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.